Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today, we are on the eastern side of the snow biome, just a bit south of the volcano, building a black ice castle. This build was suggested by Jules Giridan on my Daketo Temple build guide. I've been thinking of doing a castle for a long time in Conan Exiles, and I've always kind of wondered exactly which way would be the best to approach it, and in which style. Whilst this build won't be a massive, perfectly crafted fortress, I think it'll work well in its own way. You can probably expect a few more castles from me in the future, as the castle style is something that's extremely interesting, yet very hard to pull off convincingly. Therefore this castle is probably better defined as a keep? I don't know, the design includes multiple different buildings within the walls, and I'm not entirely sure exactly what dictates the difference between a keep and a castle to be honest with you. But anyway, semantics aside, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I'm going to start off making the wall. This wall will start near the connection of the cliff to the main body of this piece of land, and will wrap around the entire cliff edge. This is a strange wall to build, as it doesn't really mesh properly as one cohesive piece due to the abundance of wedge foundation pieces, which really mess with the clipping and the boundaries of the wall. However, it's possible to get it very close to clipping, which is what I ended up doing. It's not the ideal wall, but it will work. I raised the wall progressively around the build to ensure varying height levels that would provide adequate protection within the castle from the elements. I built the wall from foundations, using a gateway at the centre of the front facing wall to allow for an entrance and exit. When the wall was built, I then began making buttresses. These structures were used as support columns for castle walls, and thus will serve the same purpose here. I then went ahead and fortified the front facing wall, placing crenellated walls to act as maculations between the buttress walls. I did the same over the gate on both the inside and outside of the wall, then placing fences between the crenellated walls. I did initially use black ice frames to create murder holes for archers on the interior of the wall, though I would later remove this and just replace it with regular fences, as I didn't really think they worked too well. I then went on to protect the rest of the wall, covering it in fences and adding stairs to follow the elevation of the wall.
Next I created our first tower within the walls. This is the first structure I'll place. The tower starts with a standard circular platform, then creating a partial second stage of the circular platform from the back to roughly about the midpoint, creating a more interesting shape for this structure. I place stairs at the front of the tower, then placing down walls and frames, separating the entranceway from the room I've created at the back of the ground floor. I then built the front walls up high to mark roughly where I wanted the tower to reach up to. I then started to build up the walls of the rest of the tower, using roof pieces at the back of the room on the ground floor to taper the tower into the original circular shape, and build up the walls to match the height of the front walls. When I built the walls up I then decided to chop down the height of the front walls by two tiles. I then placed ceilings atop the tower, extending them out one tile around the tower itself. I had to cut into the back room a tiny bit inside to get the stairs to fit, which is fine by me as it worked quite well and allowed me to use a fairly unique staircase design. I then created a balcony on the top floor, building the walls up a little bit higher to then place a standard circular roof on top of the tower with inverted wedge accents to add a little extra flair to the tower itself. I then went back down to the ground and built a second structure, this one far, far more simple than the tower. This will be the storage and workshop area. As you can see from the video, this structure is very simple and needs very little explanation on how to build it, as it is simply two intersecting rectangular rooms. I added the same inverted wedge accents, then went inside and created a walkway that will allow access to another storage platform on the left side of the build. Next I created two more structures, one simple tower with a small cutout on the ground floor that will then slope and continue up as a standard circular tower, finishing off with a regular circular roof and the inverted wedge accents.
I then created a barracks in the bottom right corner of the keep, creating a standard rectangular room with a small rectangular extension for the staircase. This building will serve as the barracks for the castle guards, along with their dining area. This barracks connects to the front facing wall and allows easy access from within the barracks itself to the walls to defend in case of attack. Again, seeing as this is a very simple structure, it doesn't really need too much explanation on how it's constructed. Finally, I then went around the keep, placing doors where necessary. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build from the east, the wall is an imposing structure that forms a barrier between the keep and the outside world. Heading into the build, the outdoor areas are lit with ancient braziers, which work very nicely with the colour scheme we have going on. Let's check out the barracks. The ground floor is the dining room, which has plenty of room for guards to sit and eat. There is also a small storage space underneath the stairs. The stairs lead up to the first floor, which is packed with beds for the guards. This floor also has access to the wall, which is adorned with plenty of siege cauldrons, all ready to drop projectiles or boiling oil on attackers. I've placed braziers right next to these cauldrons to give the impression of preparedness and being ready to defend the wall. The rest of the wall is very nice in terms of aesthetics and the change in height. The back of the wall is particularly impressive, giving a frankly quite terrifying view over the snowy abyss below.
Next for the storage space and workshop. This area has plenty of chests for storage of different materials and resources, along with a blacksmith station in the corner and an armourer's bench to ensure that the guards of the castle can stay properly armed. Next for the small tower. This is a multi-purpose tower, with the ground floor being the kitchens for the residents. Heading up to the first floor, this is the office space for the commander, where you can hold meetings with senior guards to discuss what needs to be done around the castle. Finally, on the top floor, the commander's bedroom. Keeping this bedroom separate from the guards' bedrooms makes it feel more luxurious and important. Finally, we head into the tallest tower. The room at the back of the structure is another workshop. This one serving more of the repair and upkeep side of the castle, with facilities available to repair any damage or issues within the castle itself. Heading up the stairs to the top floor, we get another view of the snowy abyss below from the balcony. Heading onto the other side of the tower, we also get a nice view over the castle. And there we have it, a black ice castle on the eastern side of the snowy biome, just south of the volcano. Thanks for watching, and again thank you to Jules for this suggestion. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions for future builds. I am always open to ideas so feel free to suggest anything you want using mods or otherwise and I'll give it a go. Don't forget to join the fun on our discord through the link in the description and if you'd like to support the future of this channel the link to my patreon is also in the description with various tiers and rewards from special discord roles, sneak peeks at new videos before anyone else, your name at the end of videos and more. On that note, a thanks to our patrons Sammy, Doomshade and Dawnfox. If you're new here, please feel free to check out the rest of the content on this channel. There are plenty more Conan Exiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live on Twitch, to be the first to see the next video and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.